Welcome to this time of prayer for Tuesday, June the 2nd. A reminder that during these sessions we include a time of scripture reading followed by some silence where we take some time to listen for God's voice, for how God would speak to us today. As that time of prayer comes to an end, we will voice a prayer followed by another one that will include the concerns that have been submitted to prayers at holycrossburlington.ca. If you wish to add your own prayers in, please do email us at prayers at holycrossburlington.ca and we will include them in an upcoming session. The question that we are asking in this session is, how long, O Lord, before we see some good? Our reading for this session is from Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God, of my right. You gave me room when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. How long, you people, shall my honor suffer shame? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord has set apart the faithful for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. When you are disturbed, do not sin. Ponder it on your beds and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, oh, that we might see some good. Let the light of your face shine on us, O oh Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their grain and wine abound. I will both lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety.
eternal God. Amid all the turmoil and changes of the world, your love is steadfast and your strength never fails. In this time of danger and trouble, be to us a sure guardian and rock of defense. Guide the leaders of every nation with your wisdom. Comfort those in distress and grant us courage and hope to face the future. Through Jesus the Christ. Amen. O God, the strength and comfort of those who suffer, mercifully hear our prayers, and grant to your servants, Abby, Alex, all health care workers, all in Halton and around the world living with COVID-19. Carol, Carolyn, Celeste, Colleen, Frida, the Gassmeyer, Taylor, and Rankin families. Gladys, Haley, Hedda, Ingo and Sandra, Irene and Brooke, Jeff and Carmen, Geraldine, Jesse, Lori and Ed, Nadia, Natalie, Ray, the Reverend Canon Susan Wells, Richard, Rose and Herman, the self-employed who are facing the stress of severely reduced income as it impacts their businesses. Shelley, Shirley, the unemployed and underemployed, Valerie, Wayne, and all whom we hold in our hearts. Grant them the help of your power, that all sickness may be turned into health, and all anxiety may be turned into joy. Through Jesus the Christ. Amen. Thank you for taking this time in prayer. We hope that you were able to hear God's voice speaking to you in the silence. We hope that it has been a blessing for you.